So we met 4,280 days ago, so that's nearly 12 years. Um, thank you for making this such an easy relationship. It's been easy from the start. And for making me challenge myself and go on adventures that I never would have gone on. <laughs> I am super indecisive and it's probably the easiest decision I've ever made to say yes. There are two little promises and then you can all eat, I promise. Um, so my first promise is that I will always leave a couple of crisps in the bottom of the packet for you to eat. <laughs> And my final one is that one day I will officially become your wife. In marriage, you make the most beautiful of commitments to love each other. You will share work and play, happiness and sadness, goals and values, passions and dreams. So today, in celebration of each other, we, your friends and family, invite you to present an affirmation of this commitment and to the beautiful life that you'll build together. who you are and who you may become. To assist you in your tasks. To be sensitive to your needs. And to give up myself to the fullest. <laughs> 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 to trust you in all ways and to be faithful in all things. I would always expect your freedom to be who you are. Marcus, will you have Ellie to be your wife? Will you continue to honour, love and cherish her for all the days of your life? I will. Ellie, will you have Marcus to be your husband? And will you continue to honor, love, and cherish him for all the days of your life? I will. Thank you, surprise. So we're here to celebrate the wedding of the year. A great excuse to drink Negroni's wine and beer. So Marcus Howard, welcome to our clan. We couldn't be happier to have you as Earl's chosen man. And to Earl, from a Thomas to a Howard, you'll always be our sibling. We'll be with you both, no matter what, until you're old and driven. So let's raise a glass, I don't have one. To the husband and wife, we wish you love and happiness and a wonderful life. <laughs> Hello everybody and uh, welcome. Uh, I have the pleasure and honour of being the father of the bride today. <laughs> Both Ellie and me know this is toe curlingly difficult for me to do. <laughs> but what can I say about that? I'd, I'd say that Ellie is, is upbeat. <laughs> Especially when fed, she's an ability to talk knowledgeably about subjects that she knows very little about, uh, which is a, uh, 
something that uh, she shares with, with my good self. But she is funny. <laughs> And today, I'm sure would everybody agree, she's so beautiful. <laughs> now, being the best man does mean saying some nice things about your mate. And Marcus, like the rest of the boys in our group, I'm very lucky to have a close friend like you who I can trust with anything and then you do anything for any of us. However, Ellie, don't get drawn into this nice side of him. He does have a controversial side that does make you wonder his true intentions. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> now for Marcus's stag do, we tried our best to stitch him up by making him wear a thong to a pool party. But annoyingly, we've never seen him look so excited before. <laughs> he loved it. Any excuse to get out of the pool and strut his stuff and he was walking on the poolside and he was there. It clearly wasn't his first time wearing one. Now I think we've actually got some video footage of this. Nah, I wouldn't do that on your wedding day. But, we have got a picture. Carl, there he is. What a man! What a guy! It was a picture of the reverse side, but I didn't want to insult anyone and because of a 10 year old bum. So I thought, uh, we better not. That's it, walk it around. Work it, Marcus, work it! I really am very proud of Marcus. He's kind, thoughtful, hard-working, and obviously, as we saw, a bit of a <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to Ellie. Thank you for coming into Marcus's life. Everybody can see that you're perfect together, and uh, I'm really pleased. <laughs>